Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today, EA has a choice to make. Not too many people are excited about Serie A Team of the Season, especially after a great week of La Liga Team of the Season. But the choice that EA has is the chance to prove us doubters wrong. The question is, will they do it? Serie A and WSL coming into this game today, replacing the great week of La Liga and Liga F. What is the SBC evolution and maybe even free pack content going to bring us today to continue the hype of the team of the season? Let's talk about it, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Before we do that, let's cover the absolute last day of La Liga team of the season, which ended with another flashback SBC, and it's not quite as good as Don Hal Correa, but it's doable to some people and probably because of the links that he possesses and that is Etienne Kapu. The joke in the stream was today that Etienne Kapu's SBC is a little Kapu, right? I mean, hey, that, the playstyle pluses, guys. The playstyle pluses are the best thing about this card. Anticipate, press proven, and intercept plus in the midfield. Those are like the three most OP for a center defensive mid. Playstyle pluses, some would argue, in the game. Other than that, though, he doesn't have a ton of other playstyles, and the stats look decent. 4-4 medium high work rates, nice card design, an 88 rated squad, which seems a bit high, but we all know how easy that is to craft right now with the high rated team of the seasons that are out. So it's an easy craft if you need the links to Sorloth. That's where this card shines. French and links to Sorloff with the Villarreal links. So I think uh, some people are doing that SBC just because of those links right there. He's only 85,000 coins to do, but he is only 31% upvoted. And I think that's kind of how the SBC feels, just kind of okay. Like, I already have flashback to Soko. feel like I've kind of got that card covered already with Sissoko. And I have to imagine Sissoko is just as good, maybe even better with his build-in game. That's just my opinion. But if it interests you, go ahead and do it. Pretty easy to get done. It's only one squad. We also had the daily login return yesterday and marquee matchups in terms of SBCs. It was a pretty quiet day in the SBC section. Now, one thing I didn't even check yesterday was what does the daily login give us? Aha, a Serie A TOTS guarantee. So that is good. That is a good start because that's how last week went with La Liga. And that was a change that we had not seen in weeks before that specific league TOTS guaranteed from that. So that is nice. I will mention. Now, other SBC, con or sorry, other objective content that we had yesterday was the normal lounge stuff, right? Season six lounge, Serie A, boom. And you've got a lot of XP in this one though, guys. Locatelli, Berardi, and Barella are the rewards along with the usual TOTS guaranteed. So if you're running the cup right now, Serie A, yeah. It is um it is nice for the XP, but it's like, man, I'm already level 30. Some of you guys are getting done. Like yesterday, a lot of people were hitting level 40, taking that 85 times 20 and opening it for La Liga team of the season. Um, a lot of people are finishing with this uh objective set with this season pass because of all this XP that EA has given out. Like, I think it, how much is this? Like 9,000 XP out of all these two different objectives here, it is a lot. So it'll literally take you up to level 40 if you're not quite there yet. Uh, and Serie A special cards, of course, are up in price due to that cup coming out. Like this Fikayo Tomori from 138,000 coins, he's now 160K. I mean, guys, especially for the gold items, even if they're going out of packs, I always try to say this, I think the best time to sell is during the hype of the first day. So like basically today on Friday morning would be a great opportunity to sell some of these Serie A special cards just because they have been going up in price, especially the lower tier ones, the less uh, you know desirable ones that aren't as meta to be used in weekend league squads, right? Uh, which there aren't actually a lot. I was looking through some of the Serie A cards and I'm like, man, we didn't have that many. We only had like Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Bissek from the live TOTS promo a couple weeks ago. We're really lacking with some Serie A specials, at least with three playstyle pluses. It's kind of like they're behind and they need this team of the season league to catch up on those. So I would say sell some of these cards in the hype if you have them and if you're up on those. One thing that's really interesting to point out from yesterday as well is we got the Ederson upgrade, right? From the Atalanta winning the Europa League. One interesting thing to note is EA updated the discard with a dynamic image of him holding the trophy, but with his Atalanta kit on. And right, EA does not have the Atalanta rights. They have to call them Bergamo Calcio in this game. And his dynamic image with him holding that trophy, which was super sick, was quickly removed from Ultimate Team after maybe EA realized, oh shoot, we don't have the rights for that. 
we can't post that in the game. So now his dynamic image is not even this. It's just his regular base gold version headshot on the card. That was one thing I wanted to mention yesterday. It's the small things like that sometimes that we try to notice around here that make some changes and also are just pretty interesting. So that's everything from yesterday on this game. I'll save my pack pull and talk about that until the end. We did have another monster pack pull yesterday. The luck is just crazy for La Liga Tots. So if you're grinding La Liga Tots, you got a couple few, few more hours to try to pack these cards from the upgrade pack grind. Best of luck. But let's talk about Serie A because it is finally the end. It's been a crazy long month now of Team of the Season. We are near the end with the last league of new cards coming out today. Like we said in the intro, guys, the ball is in EA's courts here. We had a great week of La Liga. I think it is basically um, accepted by everybody that La Liga was such a great week. The pack weight was better than most. The SBCs were solid and it just, it was a really good week to grind. It actually brought some of the hype back to Team of the Season. Season, and EA also went out of their way to do other good things like give out the free La Liga slash Liga F Tots pack last week on Friday. That's something that I hope to see today, but is that something that EA did last week to set La Liga Tots above the rest? That's something that we'll be able to gauge today at the content drop. Now, we do have some leaks of players that are coming today, so it's not a lot, but we do have some. We're definitely going to be seeing more later today, and we have some new names as well. We've covered a lot of these already this week. Rafael Leal, of course, he's got to be in, right? Um, Dybala, of course, he's got to be in as well. We've seen the other leaks of Hakan Shalhanoglu. We've seen Lautaro Martinez. The interesting thing about Lautaro Martinez is we have official stats for his card. This is the official stats and playstyle pluses of Lautaro Martinez. He's going to have finesse. He's going to have technical, and he's going to have flair. That is a little bit of an L, but the stats on that card, man, 95 pace, 97 shooting, 95 dribbling, and 95 physical. He has got to be um, one of the most expensive cards that's going to be in this team. I don't know if he's going to be 5-star, five 5-star, five, five 5-star, five 4-star. Maybe this is sort of like a Griezmann comparison. If you think about how expensive Griezmann was for La Liga, maybe Lautaro will be around that expensive and that high rated, of course for Serie A, but that is a crack looking card. He's going to be good in game. He is usually pretty good in game. So that's a leak, a leak there for him. Teo Hernandez is a pretty new leak as well. I think we looked at that yesterday. He's coming out. Okay. The newest of names, Kavicha is coming into Serie A team of the season. That's going to be a really, really good card. If he would have those three play style pluses, that would be absolutely insane. I haven't used this card in a long time since like the, um, the radioactive promo. So that's going to be a really interesting thing one to drop today. Of course, the hardest thing, and we talked about it yesterday, we're going to talk about it again today, is the, the links. It's difficult to link these guys in squads. Here's somebody who's not, though, Bastoni. A lot of people are looking forward to this card after his showdown SBC from earlier in the year. He could be very, very cracked. I think Bastoni kind of came on to this game this year with that showdown card as a very, very meta item. He's got the big stocky build. I mean, some people were comparing him to like VVD-esque levels uh, in game with that card. And I think this one's going to be really expensive, but probably really good as well, especially with the inter cards and, and the success they had. I bet he's going to be high rated. So those are all the Serie A leaks that we do have right now. Uh, and we, we're going we're gonna to get more today, guys. 100%. We're going to get more leaks today just because that's how the schedule has been working right we see the leaks kind of slow throughout like the the day or two before and then they really start to pick up and you start to see the names and start to see all the information posted early on friday mornings heading into the content drop you'll have official stats on cards and all of that but these these cards need to be juiced and they need to be packable again they do because um la liga has set the bar very very high and it's going to be tough to kind of come in behind La Liga and keep that bar raised high. Now, uh, the way EA can do that again is by keeping the cards packable, feeling like we have something to obtain and actually having a chance to get those cards, especially the middle tier and top tier ones. That is absolutely huge. But what also needs to be big today, guys, is the player SBC. It needs to be good because if you don't give us on this game, as a new squad of Todd's players are coming out, if you don't give us a good player SBC that we feel like it's worth changing our teams for to complete and then put into our squad, then how are people going to want to use the other Serie A team the season cards unless they're just hype 
for the league itself, especially after our crazy week of La Liga, where a lot of us have new SBC players that we want to use in our team, and maybe brand new pack pulls of some of the best team of the season cards that we were able to craft and to pack. You know what I'm saying? So there's got to be something in SBC today too. It's got to be a one-two punch. Cards have to be good and packable, and the SBC has to be good as well, because chemistry links for Serie A, as we've mentioned, they're tough. Like, they're really tough, guys. And that's what I was mentioning, too, just looking through some of the cards that we have. I just picked up a Loftus Cheek for 155k because I'm thinking, like, yeah, we might have another Tots midfielder that, that drops today, but how many other good La Liga cards, or sorry, not La Liga, Serie A cards are there on this game that people are already using? I don't think there's that many. There's some good ones, but there's not a ton, which is why I actually went up and went out and picked up two Rafael Liao's for 850,000 coins because that was low for him and also I'm thinking his Rafael Leal his tots card today is not going to be cheap it's going to be expensive for sure so I was like you know what these Serie A cards might go up a little bit because in the event of us getting a really good SBC what are people going to go and link that to they're going to either go to the other most recent Serie A cards like a Loftus Cheek who looks good or they're going to go to the current team of the season cards that are in packs so watch Serie A specials today it depends on who's the SBC like if we get a center mid um, like Barella or something this Loftus Cheek might be cooked but you know what I'm saying like watch those cards today because if we get a good player SBC and the cards are halfway decent some of the other La Liga specials maybe like this Cordoba Rafael Leao and others could go up a little bit but it's got to be something good today in SBCs and in packs to make us want to change our teams. Now, I'm making excuses and I'm trying to hype up Serie A Tots because I want it to be good. I think for all of us, we want it to be good. But I'm speaking from the heart here and thinking about how this game ebbs and flows normally. Guys, there's a really good chance today that Serie A Tots just doesn't hit like La Liga did. And in that case, what do we need to be looking at? I think we need to be looking at these cards right here. The La Liga cards that are going out of packs, I think might be one of the best investments today. This is kind of bringing back in my memory how the market moved and reacted to the end of Premier League into the beginning of Bundesliga Tots. If you want to make some coins today, watch this space because I think some of these cards, especially the most rare and popular ones, might have some pretty big spikes in the buyback into the start of Weekend League. If the new cards that come out aren't that packable, if they're really expensive, and if people are just like, nah, I'm more hyped about La Liga and these cards that were just in packs than what has come out with Serie A. So that's one thing I do want to mention, and I think if you're going to go ahead and buy a few of these, just watch for rare ones, watch for meta ones that are maybe down a little bit, like Kamavinga, I think, could be a decent buy. Um, I still have the Lewandowski and the Iskos that I picked up. Isco for 320 and less, and Lewandowski at 800k. Those are just a couple of cards that could move up in price today. As people see the new stuff, they're like, oh, it's not that great. And they go back and just buy those La Liga that have gone out of uh, packs. But I would say for most of these, I would probably sell at some point today or tomorrow on Saturday just because you don't want to risk it. Ultimate Tots is right around the corner and it's probably not something worth holding on to some of these really expensive cards that could get re-released into Ultimate Team of the season. Now, let's talk about other SBC content and other things that could make today a little bit spicy, right? Let's just cover the SBCs. We always get a men's player SBC from the league and a women's player SBC along with the 78 plus double upgrade. I believe the 78 plus La Liga is expiring today. Who's surprised? That's happening every single Friday. And of course, according to the pack code, we have a 78 double. It's coming back. It's Serie A and NWSL. I do want to make that known once again that NWSL is a secondary league, and we do have a couple of leagues. I want to look at that in a second, but I would expect to see today a men's player SBC, which actually, you know what? Hold on. We do have one leak of a player SBC that could be coming. It could be today. It could be a part of ladder content, but Lookman was leaked by Foot Scoreboard today as some sort of maybe SBC or objective player referring to his performance in the Europa League final, right? What a game from him. Played amazing. Like, that's a sick dynamic, but it won't happen, right? Because, of course, they don't have the rights to that. But watch out for a Lookman special card. I don't know if it'll be Europa League related, if it'll be like um, some other card design. I think there are Europa League and Champions League man of the match items that have been added to the code of the game. We just have not seen them throughout the entire year. But that could be a really fun and good SBC if the stats are right, if his passing is maybe a little bit higher than that, and if he has three good playstyle pluses. That's one player SBC we maybe could see. But watch out for an NWSL player as well. And who knows, maybe an icon. This would be a great time for them to put out 
some of the best Italian icons in the game. Um, I know some of them have already had SBCs this year, like Maldini, but there could be another version of Maldini and SBCs. I would not be surprised if they did that at some point this week. And then one thing they did last week for La Liga that was so nice that we really hope they do again is give us the free Tots pack. That was one of the things last week right away that clicked in my mind that was like, all right, this is going to be a good week of team of the season when we all logged into the game and got a free La Liga slash Liga F guaranteed team of the season. That was cold. I really hope they do that again. So fingers crossed that they do do that because again, that pack is in the code. Um, I don't know if it's on this page. It was a different pack code page, but the Syria slash NWSL team of the season pack has been added to the code. So that's kind of what I'm expecting for the SBC content today. A men's SBC, a women's SBC, the 78 double. And then other than that, might be a little bit of a surprise if we get anything else. Let's talk about Evos for a second. We don't have any evolutions leaked as of right now, but we know every single week that we're getting those league specific Evos, right? We've had Bundesliga, League One, all that. We're probably getting a Serie A Tots Evo. I don't know if it'll be today or if it'll be tomorrow on Saturday, but we're going to get some sort of evolution today, I would 100% think. I don't know if it's going to be insane. I hope it is because Evos have been honestly falling back a bit. I might put Aspilicueta in this evolution. I can't lie, just because he might look better upgraded than some of the other cards in here. I don't know. There's um, only a few hours left for the Tots Champs upgrade. That's the first red upgrade pick there. Um, but we need something good in Evos. Bring the hype back for Evos today as well, EA. That would be something that could bring a little bit of hype back. But again, it's going to be really hard to follow up this La Liga team in the season. Now, let's talk about NWSL for a second because I know there's some hype for this league as well. There's been some really great players this year in Ultimate Team that are NWSL linking. Trinity Rodman is one of them. Now, I packed her Future Stars card earlier on this year and I wasn't a huge fan. She's all pace right but trinity rodman here if she has finesse if she has quick step she could be very very good maybe five star skills as well she is leaked to be coming in the nwsl promo today and there's one other big league and it's official stats for sophia smith she was in team of the year a lot of you guys probably remember that she's been cracked all year long she had a trailblazers card too official stats and play styles we got first touch quick step and finesse 99 pace 94 shooting, 91 pass, and 97 dribble. That is a cracked card for her as well. And it's Tots Plus, according to this leak here, which is going to be very, very helpful for a lot of us trying to build out squads. All you need is a manager, and boom, you're in a full three chemistry points. So, again, watch out for a NWSL player SBC. It may be an objective related to that as well. And, uh, again, fingers crossed for the free Tots pack. We would absolutely love that. That's kind of content today in a nutshell, guys. I feel like that's going to be it. Um, again, We'll look at objectives for some sort of player dropping there as well. But I just have my worries about how hype this is going to be. I want to believe that EA can drop the juice and deliver today, right? But I'm also a little bit worried because just knowing how this game ebbs and flows, do they really want Serie A team of the season to feel as hype and as good as the league that they sponsor, La Liga? I just have to believe that it may not be as hype today, guys, which couldn't, you know, it's not necessarily a problem. Some of you guys are very excited for La Liga or um, ending to see Serie A starting, right? Because some of you have been saving packs. I've been reading the YouTube comments. Some of you guys are Serie A fans, right? Or maybe you want a Christian Pulisic team of the season like I do, or maybe it's NWSL that you're excited for. There's definitely going to be some hype for today, but I just don't think that it's going to kind of feel the same as La Liga. And that's just my thought. That's why I'm holding on to the Lewandowski holding on to the Iscos that I bought. I'm up big on Lewa, but he could go up even over a million coins today if um, the content's not that crazy. So again, really watch the La Liga team of the season cards. And the last thing that I want to shout as a part of this video too is um, just be careful with top tier team of the seasons because if today is kind of mid and if people are like oh mid 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 Syria Tots not very good um just keep an eye on some of these top tier cards that could get re-released into ultimate tots because today also signifies one week until ultimate team of the season and that could be a time where a lot of player prices that are already down a lot like look at John and David 480 Cherokee's 359 these cards would drop off a lot more if we're getting the hype starting to build up for ultimate team of the season, which would be one week from now. So I'm not saying the market's going to absolutely crash today. I think that if you get some good prices on some of these cards, they will probably peak again, whether it's the brand new Serie A cards, or maybe you're buying a La Liga or a Liga F card. 
I think the prices would peak around the start of that weekend league time frame, but there may not be as much hype for weekend league this week as there was last week. One quick note about um, mixed team at number four. I would sell these cards. They're going to get supplied more today, especially Firmino, Tavernier, Somerville, and Yikerez. Those cards are going to get packed a lot more just because there's going to be lightning rounds and there's going to be that sort of stuff going on. And they are in packs, and there's not a new mixed league coming until sunday so yeah guys i've got a couple investments you saw i got the layouts i do have one loft this cheek if i can get cordoba for like 280 which is going to be difficult it's gonna have to be a snipe but you know we're probably going to get some good cards today for syria i'm not trying to undervalue how good syria could be i want it to be great ea has an opportunity here to make it really really good I'm just a little worried because we just know how this game goes, right? With the ebbs and the flows, EA sponsors La Liga. It was always going to be good, and it was one heck of a week. So if you're still grinding packs today before La Liga goes away, best of luck doing that. But I think that's the video for today, guys. We'll be live streaming this, of course, looking at the content, seeing what comes out, reacting to the market, buying some cards, making some coins, hopefully, and uh, seeing what fun we can get into today on this game if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in that twitch stream link is down below in the description peace out 15 seconds to open this so it's still 218 when i open it all right here we go boys 650 come on brazil yes that's good that's good that's good i got lewandowski the last time it was like wait don't be lewandowski again but savio was the first walkout that's good fede uh graham hansen griezmann ramos no way, Chet! No way! Oh my gosh, dude! Let's go! The Greasy Grease! With the flow!